Um, uh, so the vector tools, <clears throat> uh, you create a vector line uh, layer this way. So let's just kind of go over this pretty quick. Um, be sure you look and see how there's actually little tabs here. One thing that's really cool about vector uh, line tools in Psi is that you can actually do uh, like pixel um, pixel art with it. That you can move around. Um, so there's um whenever you're using the line tools in in the so let's just actually so yeah here's some cool stuff you can do you can erase ends like this you can move everything around you can delete the little nodes you can delete whole lines you can delete intersecting lines um, but to set this up it's a little tricky what's well, not tricky it's just you have to know what buttons to press. Um, so let's just talk about the mechanical components first. So if you grab any brush, it, in fact, if you hit the edit button, you'll actually see all the shortcuts in the edit. There's a thing called a uh, quick reference for an misc. Um, and these are all the shortcut keys that are for um, generally using it. And then you can do additional editing and modifications using these the sub selection of these edit tools, like increasing, decreasing the, you know, uh, you know, weight and all sorts of stuff like that. You can concern yourself with that later. But what's more important is that you learn to learn to draw and then learn to hold the shortcuts to delete parts of your lines pretty quickly and easily. So all just to delete a point or a segment, you'll usually see a little it'll show you what it does. And if it, if you control control alt is to move. So control moves just those individual points and shift moves the whole thing based on the, the anchor points. So, and if you want to add more anchor points, you hold shift alt. Well, so the reason you want to do that is for instance, let's say you did draw a sphere. Let's say you draw a hair and you want to move it, but you want the point to stay, then you have to hit shift alt. And then that point will stay, that point will stay. Sorry, that point will stay. Shift alt just creates like a control anchor for when you use shift. And then control shift will duplicate. And then you can delete it by pressing control alt shift. There's a way to select. Oh yeah, the selection method of selected points is a kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but the benefits of vector tools, as you know, is that they're non-destructive. So if you do Control T, you'll see that even at this point, there's no no destruction to the lines. It's all still just pixels. If you were to do that with actual pixels you know, with actual uh, binary, you would get all distorted and stretched and screwed up. The benefit of all this, of vector tools, is if there's a few reasons you'd want to use it. The, the non-destructive nature, nature, the ability to scale up. Um, if you're doing pixel art and you're doing a lot of geometry, using binary tools to do all the geometry and not have to worry about pushing pixels up and down based on like having screwed up a, an angle or something and being able to just pick up a line like this and just move it slightly is really beneficial and really helpful. So you can actually make the vector tools actually seem pretty brush-like to the extent that you'll actually be able to sell it as a, as a non-vector tool. Uh, even here at this airbrush tool doesn't really feel like a vector, vector tool, but I think that a lot of frustration people have with vector tools is they start getting over concerned with, you know, nudging things around. But I think, you could just use it as a normal sketching tool that has just happens to have the ability to have a few extra like uh, abilities to do things while you're using it. So you can still sketch with it. But if I hit control shift, all that can just like delete a line if I don't like it or, um, you know, move a line slightly if I want to. There's those kinds of mini benefits. You, you don't have to make use a vector tool and try to be as clean as possible. Uh, one of the big limitations, though, of vector tools is you can't draw too long of a line. In fact, let's see how long it takes, because it'll say it can only make so many points. There you go. Exceeded 100 points. So your lines, 
have a limit to their length. Um, you'd have to play around with the curve type, you know, pressure, tolerance stuff, anti-hook stuff to kind of make it put less points if that becomes an issue, but I don't think it will. Additionally, you have under your paper thing here. If you hit your layer effects, you have paper. And you can go down, you know, find the one I used to li I like using. And then there's apply to line work. Make your line art look like it has a paper texture. It's the last step to make it not look like it's um, vector art. So at this point, you no know, one would consider any of this vector art, but it's still vector. Um, it just looks great. But uh, you can even kind of paint with it. So this is still vector tools. Uh, you know, they're not, they don't have to be crisp vector lines because I can still con control T this and all that information can be stretched without it, without the actual lines themselves degrading, which is kind of crazy to see it like it deformed but not lose its uh, fidelity. Um, and then the biggest boon from all this, and I think this is the one that people would like the most, is um, you can set up something called, you can set up an eraser. So you have an eraser here. Um, so you can just go control, I think it's right click anywhere you want. It's not showing up on the screen. I got to figure out why it's not. But if you right click on any of these little things, it'll show up um, a make a new tool thing. And then you can go to basic. Uh, and then you can go to eraser and make a new eraser. And then you just go here, you can change the detect intersections. Uh, you can check, you could, you could fuss with this all you want. What this does is it allows you to, um, you know, you're drawing a, a face, like uh, you're drawing a face, you know, and then you draw T and if you hot cut key, so I have a hot, hot cut it to R for remove. And then you could just erase intersecting lines. Um, this becomes pretty useful when you're doing a lot of like inking um, and you're just trying to get, you know, especially like I, I always assume animation cleanup, this would be a boon because not only can you nudge lines around to be like the perfect transitional, it really is the biggest shame that Psy doesn't have like a simple animation uh, integration. There's a few like external tools, but it'd be really good for again skiing to be able to just like these vector tools are just begging to be used for in between because you can just perfectly nudge things around like this. You come here and you can just kind of erase, you know, tangential line, uh, lines that in intersecting lines, like so, like so. You know, so if you're being kind of just quick and you you don't want to concern yourself with like too much with what's happening in your line art uh, or your your you don't like having to deal with like the minutia you just kind of like you're vibing out um, and you don't want to concern yourself too much with the lines well you can just do this you can just draw draw the lines pretty quickly and come in and use a either nudge it or use the uh, the quick uh, intersecting arrays um, and as you can see it's you're not really going to be forced to have lines that look too ro like I want to say robotic but you know stiff even though these are vector tools they behave pretty much very similarly to just traditional uh, you know textured styled brushes there's more to this than this. I can, if there's any interest in this, I'll do a proper full bore step by step every feature tutorial review of this thing. You just basically need like two or three tools. You just need to know how to hold Alt Shift Control or Alt Shift Control Shift or whatever to move stuff around, and that'll be that'll help you just pretty much get to a point where you can use these tools fully without having to do much do much much more work than that. All right. So that's the end of that. No.